Hello, Taurus. Don't mind the other board. I switched my one out because I'm adding more stuff. Management had a change, so I have to comply to the changes to the office. Of course, that's just how it goes. Anyway, welcome to your September read for this current year. Taurus, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game. Why not work if you don't believe in it? Or will. Or something. Whatever. Something might happen. We never know. We never know. Right. If you want a personal reading after this, my email, Facebook, and Instagram are in the description box below. First reading's free on the house, of course. Everything else comes with the price. It's also in the description box if you want to look there. But I do accept donations and whatever as well. So, thank you kindly in advance. Alright, Taurus, let's see what's coming up for you. We got two of swords. You got some fucking decisions to make, bruh. You do. About a separation with somebody. That's the situation right here. Like, you need to separate from somebody. What you're wanting and wishing for is a queen of swords. Someone who um, decides what's to cut, what is logical, what to keep. Um, you're trying to figure out what you're doing with that, I feel like. Um, either that or that's an air sign, but there's something wrong. There's something wrong with her. I don't know what it is, but I don't like how she's looking in your read. Like, it's like... She's dangerous, but she looks... Like, look at her face, okay? Just look at her fucking face. She looks like, oh, will you please help me? But, like, she's dangerous. She's got swords and shit. She got a stick in one hand and a sword in the other. And that is just... I don't know. Her face just... It looks like it's full of pain. It looks like it's full of misery, but it's like... It's true... But it's like there's something wrong with her. Like, I like I don't know. I'm reading that really weird. Uh, challenge an obstacle coming against you. Princess of Swords. That could easily be the same person, too. But I don't know yet. Um, let's see. Fears and Rejections. The Seven of Swords. Revered. This is the Princess of Swords. That's the Seven of Swords. I misspoke. I apologize. Um... I forgot how slippery they are on this board. Anyway, but yeah, Seven of Swords. Um, someone's afraid they have to apologize for something bad? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I forgot to pick this dude up. Fuck me. Well, I'll, it's okay, because I didn't realize. I don't feel like this is wrong for you, Taurus. Normally, I would, like, put that bag in the deck, but it's like... I feel like I'm not supposed... I'm not, okay, I'm not supposed to then. Alright. I won't then, sorry. Nine of Swords popped up for a second. Oh, okay. Are you, are you, alright. If you, okay, if you say so, man. Oh, that Seven of Wands was supposed to be there because, like, this person's been fighting. Which has something to do with this Queen of Swords right here, because the Nine of Swords that popped up for a second, it was like a flash, it was just like, poof, mental torment and uh, anguish or something, right? That's why they've been fighting so hard. That's why she looks like all, like, timid and scared, but in reality, it's like she's a, a danger. That's like her, um, it's, it's like a predator who uses that, um, fish bulb to uh, attract little fish so we can eat it. It's like, you don't think anything of it until like it actually hits you. What goes around comes around. A catalyst as well as the final result. What started this shit and how it ends. Six of Pentacles. Someone's getting their blessings but there's somebody in the background watching like a stalker, which could be this princess of swords, right? What's the beginning theme, please? Eight of Swords. Entrapment of the mind. Imprisonment, which you can easily get out of. It's only like a few boards. Like, just bend your knees or whatever, but it's like... Someone feels trapped upon pe feeling trapped upon feeling trapped. It's trapception. Trapception! Trapped in a box, in a box, in a box! Let's see. It's like the decision needs to be made about a fucking nib nose 
who needs to apologize for her stuff but are too much of a chicken shit to do it. It's caused a separation here. And someone is looking vulnerable, but I feel like this person's cut throat because they see someone getting blessed and they're not. And that's like, mm -hmm. I wonder if that's what you're seeing, Taurus. I don't know. Also, cross watchers, switch where you need to. Same with the person who is the sign. Please don't come in here talking about, like, you know, I'm like, I didn't do that. Because, like, you know, I'm just the messenger. I don't know who's doing who yet. Even if I get it wrong, like, you know, you should be able to figure that out. I don't need to know that shit. That is all you, man. Let's see. Ugh. So... This Two of Swords involves a Knight of Wands, a shapeshifter, or someone who likes change. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, some choice has to be made with this guy. Or he's moving, or he's the one who has to make the choice because he's moving quick. One of the two. And it involves the situation with the Two of Cups where two people might be separating. Ooh. Two Cups for King. Two Cups. Ah, la, 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 la. Two cards came up for that one. The Magician and the Ace of Coin. Once again, like, could be Aries in this, but it's usually all signs. Um, there was separation between, between people. Somebody was a magic maker, and they were the person who was able to bring some wealth to the table. So this person might have separated from you from that, Taurus. Or this is somebody you're observing? Ah! Well, the rest of them just came out, so who do they do? Um, this Queen of Swords, right? She's kind of feeling like the King of Cups. The want and wish for her, I think, is to make logical decisions, but, like... She's a selfish prick a little bit. Like, just, you know, like... She needs to chill, that's for sure. She needs to chill. Just a tad, though. Like, there's something here. It's like Divine Earth Age. There's something up here with her where, um... What she sees is a more, uh... It's more what she wants to see. Two seconds. I need a cup of water because, goddammit, it is hot in my house. Or maybe I should make coffee. I don't know. You guys tell me yes or no if I should make coffee. Like, that's important. <laughs> anyway... But yeah, it's like, this person, um, you know, Queen of Swords is cut through and she'll cut things out even if she loves them. And maybe that's the distress from it. And maybe she's dealing with a water sign, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or maybe she's distressed looking because she's seen something and saying like, hey, there's some red flags somewhere. But I don't know. It's like, I kind of don't trust her for some, like, if she is this King of Cups, She's fucking nuts. And she's crazy. There's a difference. Like, you can be nuts, and that's fine. You can be crazy, and that's fine. But if you got a combination of both, it's like, you know, which one's gonna out, out, out nut the other? You know, which one's going to be the master, um, whatchamacallit? Uh, it's like this person has the potential to be manipulative just to get their things that they want, you know? The challenge and obstacle down below, Taurus, is this Queen of... Or, not Queen, Princess of Swords. Once again, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This could be somebody acting immature. You're supposed to be a queen. You, it's almost like you want somebody to be a Queen of Swords. But there are Princess of Swords, which is just a fucking snoop. Like, the most immature of snoops, right? Um, misery and torment with the Ten of Wands. What? What the fuck does that mean? Who are you dealing with, Taurus? That, like... <laughs> that, um... Wow, what is this? Like, okay, I already know I got two right there, and that's, like, confusing as it is, but Taurus, it's like, uh... to make of this.
because you got like a queen, a princess of swords who's trying to end a burden down here. Or someone who's snooping trying to end a burden. But the only way to end the burden is to come up as the queen of swords and realize that maybe this king of swords is a, a, a selfish dick. Or someone's being a selfish dick. Someone's like thinking too highly of their own emotions to recognize um, what's actually going on around them. Maybe that's why this choice has come up with this uh, knight of wands right here. But then there's this fear with the Seven of Swords, where someone is afraid to, like, come back with that heavy box full of swords and baggage and snakes and be like, Hey, I'm sorry, man. Like, they like they want to move on, but they can't. And that's leaving them feeling a bit uh, emotionally stuck. Um, nothing's coming together from them. They're not finding any sort of satisfaction. You know, they're, it's like they're not letting something go. Like, I don't know. I don't know why, but that's just what they're doing. Like, they, like they don't, like they're afraid or they're rejecting the idea of like going forward and be like, "Look, I am sorry for being an asshole. Okay, I didn't mean to be an asshole. It just kind of happened. I have that tendency. It's it, it, it's an allergy to pain or whatever. I feel like this person's constantly in pain. Um, this querent is, and it's like they're too afraid to actually take themselves to that level." But it's leaving them completely emotionally, like, unsatisfied with things, right? Then we got the Six of Pentacles down here, which is, like, what goes in a circle. Um, brings, this is how it started, this is how it'll end. The High Priestess Reverse. Uh, hmm. Somebody's watching somebody get their blessings. But, is it the person? It's it, it's the person with the blessing. Yeah, okay. It's the person with the blessings who's being the high priestess. Keeping secrets. This necro... The necromancer seer is what the card says. So it's like... It's like they have answers, but it's, they're not being exposed the way someone thinks that they should be. Or how they should be. Or some bullshit. I'm not sure. People tend to be slightly crazy. I'm not sure how to take this query in here, Taurus, so you'll have to tell me how all of this comes up, but I feel like this is somebody you're dealing with, or somebody you're observing in a distance, right? You get two cards for your ending theme. Death and the Queen of Cups. She is the counterpart of the King of Cups. The Shaman, the Enchanter, Mutate, Regenerate. And someone's locked in their mental box about it. Someone might be getting into some... Someone might be, um, what's that word? Uh, ascending. Someone might be, like, finally using... Like, it, I feel like this high priestess isn't being ignored as much as she is just, um, not coming out with everything she knows. But there's a queen of cups here. Someone who feels emotionally. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Maybe this Queen of Swords is not like this uh, Queen of Cups, and that's why he's reversed, because it's like it's for dumb reasons. It's like, I'm not paying attention to you, and she's just like, well, I'm affecting the universe. Eat my lasers, bitch. You know, like, it's like she doesn't care, or she isn't, um, her waves are too progressed to acknowledge his, because his is behind him, like, ego is involved. Hers is in her body, so you can see it throughout her. Like, she feels intently with herself. And there's some transformation with that, too. But it's like someone's mentally stuck in a box about it. Oh, this is the wrong deck. My bad. Haha. <laughs> Alright, so let us clarify it for us. Let's see. Knight of Wands, Two of Swords. The Magician and Ace of Coins with the Two of Cups reversed. What is up with that? Beautiful. Knight of Wands is not going anywhere. This person doesn't want to go a damn place. It's like, you know, I could take off somewhere, but nah. 
I'm not letting this go. Like, they don't have any emotion for it. They've already smacked around the other cups with their tail being like swish swish like a Katy Perry song and a backpack kid dancing all weird, you know? It's like they're not going anywhere, but there's no reason to like worry about sticking around for the cups. It's like, it's all about almost fundage or something, right? Somebody needs to make a decision to leave, but they're not doing so. Either way, with the Knight of Wands. We have the King of Cups with the Queen of Swords, and the Princess of Swords with the Ten of Wands. There's a High Priestess involved here for sure. There she is again, just having her reins spread open, being like, Come on to me, and I will give you my apple! Egg, or, or is that bread? What is that? The fuck is that? I think it's an apple. Either way, you can come and try it and see what it is. Imagine that me. Like, it's almost like the Garden of Eden's apple. Like, the, the knowledge of good and evil. And taking a leap of faith with her. The, fun fact, this is actually not part of the card. Like, somehow this piece of the card got ripped. I have no idea how. I've had these cards forever, but I only found them last year, so it was more recent. But it's almost like now they're shooting a javelin out, like... Hachoon! I'm gonna take that leave of faith and I can stab that person in the head while they run from me, right? Right. It's fucking... Good deal. Anyway. But it's almost like someone needs to shoot their javelin out to this empress right here, right? Now, this Ten of Cups reverse with the Seven of Swords reverse. Six of Pentacles with this High Priestess. Um, someone is being a hermit. Could be a Virgo, but there's somebody who goes inside or in the darkness to seek out their answers. Or maybe even through the beyond. A lot of mysticism in yours, Taurus. And that involves a wish fulfillment that, um... Kind of becomes a nightmare? Huh. Like, I like to think that this version of the Nine of Cups is, like, daydreaming, synchronicities and stuff, but reverse, it's like... Your mind went too far, and now, like, you're imagining yourself going into a fucking cave full of sharp objects and bears. And it's like, it's one of those where it's like, someone sees, like, something deeply to where, like, it's disturbing? I don't know. And it, it, it is a wish fulfillment, but it's like, you know, one of those things where it's like, you, you have to be careful what you wish for, too. Um, like somebody manifested something. Oh, I'm, I'm getting another one on that, because I'm just like, what the hell does that mean? That is crazy. King of Wands reverse. Ah! Someone wished for this Knight of Wands to grow up a little bit too much, and now he be King of Wands, but now he's a spoiled brat king prince, whatever. You know, a little bit too assertive with his authority, right? Looking for that wish fulfillment to be fulfilled, but then turning out they didn't like that wish because he's a dick. Still. Like a lot of... Ugh. I don't know, Taurus. But... Hmm. I think you know what you need to know, but it's like you're not doing anything with it because you're hoping for something different like you're hoping to seek out some other kind of like point of view but it's like nah that's not happening because it involves you like almost listening to a high priestess and taking a leap of faith here but it's like you go inside to see your wish and it's like once you go inside to see what you wished for boom this dude becomes like supremacy. He becomes like authority. He's like, you're gonna do what I say whenever I say it, and there's nothing you're gonna argue with me about it. So, fuck him if he's doing that, and you know, fuck you if you're doing that, because that's not cool. Like, let's be equal in our hatred, right? But, like, anybody who tries to control to, or maybe somebody who's making these wishes, Taurus, is the one who's becoming, like, this dictator person, too. Either way, like, fuck this guy. Um, but, that's what I got for you for September. So, if you guys enjoyed this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it, but, you know, I'm not gonna, 
whimper about it. It's your option, of course. You choose. No pressure. Um, I will see you guys later. Oh, I'm also going to try to do some, like, witchy shit on this channel, and I'm probably going to make another one. I'm going to try to start it with spells of protection, wards, um, hex work, things like that. You know, it's all dependent on you. But I will see you guys later. Love you. Bye-bye.